Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do your be aware. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you Virgos and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay Virgos? Now, I do always say that the be aware doesn't necessarily have to be something bad. It could just be a certain person or a situation or even a place that maybe you need to pay a little bit more closer attention to. And for some of our girls, maybe it is a message that is directly for you, okay? So, Spirit, what do we have here today for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus? Is there anything that they need to be aware of? What is the message for the collective? Can I get a card for now and a card for going forward? Thank you, Spirit. And going forward. Mm. Bottom of the deck, you do have toil and labor. Now, this first card is coming out in the reverse, okay, and it is the wealthy man. And then you also have going forward the coffin. So I don't know if this is about somebody passing away, if that is the case, my condolences, okay. But we'll see why the wealthy man came out in the reverse. This could just be maybe somebody who is experiencing some sort of instability, right? Um, this could be that energy of maybe, you know, riches to rags. But let's see. Why is this wealthy male in the reverse? It says intoxication, distorted view or overindulgence. This could be something like an OD, an overdose. Intoxication, maybe someone, oh, I don't know. I don't want to predict no like accident or anything like that. But someone definitely could have some sort of accident because they're under the influence of something. And again, this is also making me feel like someone didn't see something coming. What is the coffin? We have someone didn't see something coming. You have you see clearly. It says clairvoyance. So I don't know if somebody predicted something here. I don't know if this if is some if this is about like. Because um, this is like the high priestess energy, right? Someone could be like a medium or a psychic. Maybe someone predicted someone's ending. But I'm not necessarily talking about a death. I'm, I'm talking about maybe, like I said, someone predicted that someone's um, financial stability was going to come to an end. That they were going to lose money or a business was going to collapse. What is this for Virgo? What do I need to be aware of, Spirit? I don't know why I'm looking at this picture. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at this picture. And it's almost making me think of like the angel of death. What is this for my Virgos? So we have the dog coming out. And the dog usually talks about friendship, allies, allies, loyalty, trustworthy, support and obedience. Virgos, I'm also picking up this energy here where there may be someone here who is drinking or indulging in something else. A hell of a lot here. And I feel like for some of you, it's because they're in a bad financial position or situation, okay? And they may be having some sort of regrets that they wasn't more 
I guess, um, more of a friend to you, right? It's that energy where it feels like someone here now needs your help, but it's kind of like too late because they already kind of bit the hand that feeds them, right? And that is just a metaphor. What, what is the coffin and you see clearly? So we have two energies turning over. You have the child energy and you have the rider. I feel like for some of Virgos, with, I mean, this could have something to do with a child. Okay. I'm not going to go too much into that if that is the case. Um, but the child energy, it talks about an energy of innocence playfulness youth and the writer talks about energy and passion and speed and, and and messages i feel like someone sees you in a very high vibrational energy here virgos i feel like someone is looking at you as someone who has changed now, sometimes this rider energy can talk about like the Knight of Wands. So this could be like a certain situation, like I said, coming to an end because maybe someone here finds out something about a child. And it could even be as, you know, as big as finding out that a child is not yours. Knight of Wands, the rider energy can talk about someone who is non-committal, someone who likes to explore their options. Someone could have received some sort of news about this. But I just want one card. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, we have the lily in the reverse. And the, in the upright, the lily, it talks about maturity, old age. It's like that temperance energy, right? Peace, balance, and like harmony. But it's in the reverse. So I feel like for someone here, there is some sort of imbalance. Again, I don't know if this is an energy or uh, I said it talks about maturity. This could be old age. Someone could be passing away, right? This may be an older person. Could be a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be. What is this for my Virgos? Thank you, spirit. The wealthy man in the reverse. Oh, excuse my stomach. Yeah, this may have something to do with a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But let's see. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? So we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands can talk about, especially maybe if someone here was ill or suffering with some sort of sickness, right? The Nine of Wands does talk about the wounded warrior, but it can also talk about someone who has maybe been battling something for a long time as well. You know, it's that energy, the Nine of Wands, is the, we're almost at the Ten of Wands, right? We're almost at the end of something. This is someone who is feeling drained, depleted. Show me more. This could also be someone, like I said, if they are drinking too much because they are reflecting almost like that seven of pentacles on choices that they made, things they invested in people. Okay. Again, reg regretting um, not being more loyal to you or the situation or the relationship. This is someone who who's finding it difficult to get through life on a daily basis. Yeah, six of cups. Reflecting on the past. What is this nine of wands? Coming out sideways is the ace of wands. Yeah, blockages here and the ten of cups. For some of you, this could be a family member, someone you have children with, right? But it's like <laughs> with the two cards coming out sideways. Yeah, king of cups at the bottom of the deck with the six of wands with the two of swords. There's, there's blockages here. This is someone who's in their emotions because they want some sort of success or they're in their emotions because they see that you are having some sort of success. So that would be for my Virgos where, you know, maybe you have some sort of a platform um, 
or maybe you have like you post pictures of your life or you know someone just sees you doing well okay this is uh, this talks about recognition this talks about winning right where someone else feels stuck and like I said, even though they may want to come back and repair things and I'm not necessarily seeing for the right reasons, I'm seeing because they're in a position where they are struggling. Even if they wanted to come back and have some success but with those cars coming out sideways, it just feels like they don't have access to you. It's not an option. Again, where I was saying the nine of wands is that energy where you're almost at the ten of wands. We have the ten of wands energy here, nine of wands, ace of wands. For some of my Virgos, this is someone who is seeing that you are completely done with this situation. You have laid or put down some sort of burden. For some of you, this may even be somebody you was married to with the Ten of Cups. But what is the Nine of Wands? The Nine of Wands is Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit. Yeah. I feel like you're very focused on your finances, your stability. For some of my Virgos, maybe you're very much just keeping yourself to yourself here. But you could be dealing with another Virgo. Take it out, it resonates. So this is you, right? But someone here may definitely be kind of um, doing some sort of soul searching or they're being enlightened about something. Or it's that energy of them trying to, I guess, get some sort of inner guidance or they're just doing some reflection. Eight of Pentacles is that energy of someone who is putting a lot of hard work into something. I'm also getting an energy here, Virgos, where some of my Virgos, you need to be very persistent at something, okay? It, and it, it feels like when it comes to your craft and things like that. What is the Eight of Pentacles? What is the Eight of Pentacles? Ooh. You have the moon in the reverse. This is releasing fear. This is also things coming to light. What's the moon in the reverse for the Eight of Pentacles? Two of Wands and a High Priestess. I don't know, maybe some of you are tarot readers. Maybe some of you want to be tarot readers here. Or maybe you want to do something a little bit taboo. But maybe you're worried. I feel like some of you, it's almost like I want to say, um, I don't know, did I say it? <laughs> I want to say some of you may be like whistleblowers. I think I did say it. But it feels like for some of my Virgos, you're being very secretive as well at this time. Or maybe you need to, right? What is the Ace of Wands? What do my Virgos need to be aware of? Give me a clear message. There's lots of different energies here. You have the Tower. What's the Ace of Wands with the Tower? And you have the Knight of Swords with the Eight of Swords. For some of my Virgos, there may be something coming out. You may be finding something out about a certain person who was trying to, like I said, either cause some sort of blockages or obstacles here for you. Or trying to cause you some sort of delays, right? Now, this could also be someone who may be charging towards you. Because this could be an energy of anger here with this tower and this knight of swords. Someone here who is maybe going to try and come towards you and cause some sort of conflict. Now, if someone is going through a tower moment here, it, it could be because of some sort of action they took. What's the tower? And the Knight of Swords. Someone here is not happy about missing an opportunity. You have the Judgment. And then you have the Five of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who is going to probably act out because you won't accept their forgiveness. The Judgment to me sometimes can talk about someone who maybe is wanting to kind of like reconcile. But I feel like the Judgment also talks about an awakening. Someone here is realizing something, but it's all that energy of realizing too late. What's the Ten of Cups? What is the Ten of Cups? You have the Nine of Cups and then you have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. You see, it feels to me like Virgos, right? 
you're no longer confused about what makes you happy here, right? Again, this energy of wish fulfillment coming in towards you. For some of Virgos, Seven of Cups in the Upright can talk about options. I don't know if some of you are getting into a relationship. Eight of Cups, the Death card, yes, yeah, over. Yeah, look at that, the Full card, brand new beginnings here. Knight of Pentacles, Temperance magician some of you are manifesting something some of you have stepped into some sort of leadership role right you may even be like teachers of some sort but the seven of cups in the reverse this is about reality facing the truth this is about also you getting clarity about something someone's family may be finding out about someone's addictions could be an aries or taurus or father figure But if someone once was making you an option, it's almost like the tables have turned. They put you in an option position before, but now you're just not available to them. <laughs> What's the seven of cups in the reverse? I also feel like an energy where someone's dreams is going to get shattered. What's this uh, seven of cups in the reverse? Thank you, spirit. The Six of Pentacles, was somebody expecting some sort of handout or is that what they needed you for? They need some sort of financial assistance. What's the Six of Pentacles? The Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups. Yeah, with well, the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords energy. Queen of Swords is not afraid to cut people, places and things out of her life. And with that Ten of Swords energy, especially if this is someone who betrayed you. <clears throat> mm, someone's future does not look bright. So what is this coffin and you see clearly with a lily in the reverse? I mean, my stomach is making a lot of noises. I don't know if this is like someone who is not eating properly or I don't even know if they can afford to. What's going on, spirit? What do my burgers need to be aware of? Let me put this wealthy man back in the reverse because show me going forward. You have the page of wands landed on the nine of cups. Three of Pentacles. What is the energy going forward for Virgo? Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Ooh, with a Two of Cups. Yeah, there's some sort of partnership coming in for someone here, or there's good news, okay? Um, this could definitely be good news about finances. It may not be a massive amount with the Page of Pentacles, but it's good news all the same. For some of you, this, like I said, you may be starting some sort of new relationship with the Two of Cups out here, right? It could be a new one. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. What's the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, Six of Wands. This is going to be a successful collaboration. Some of my Virgos, you may also be waiting for some sort of news. Maybe when it comes to, I don't know if you were studying something here. But show me more. Three of Pentacles and Six of Wands. This is definitely triumph, achievement, right? Recognition. This is people applauding you, happy for you. This could even be your ancestors and angels that are very much applauding you, right? For moving past some sort of conflict and drama. For making the right choice to go in a new direction. You see how the six of wands, how the person on the horse is only holding one wand. And we have the ace of wands out here, new beginnings, new passionate beginnings for some of you. So again, whether it is in work, career or in love. King of Pentacles energy. You could be meeting another earth sign or you could just be, um, like I said, it all depends on what you're doing. Some of you may be single. And like I said, if you've been working on something, studying something, right, it's going to be successful. Especially for those of you who 
kind of push through any fear. You could just be meeting someone who is just stable, secure, mature. So I don't know why the lily came in the reverse. Could be someone who, you know, you could be heading to a place where you're going to have some sort of high status here. This is a successful business person. A provider. What is this Queen of Cups? Coming out sideways, you have the Lovers, the Emperor, and the Two of Pentacles. What's this Queen of Cups? You could have water somewhere highly aspected in your chart here, Virgos. I feel like this is someone who is reminiscing on when you was very loving and caring and nurturing towards them. What is this Queen of Cups? The Ten of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Virgos, with this Two of Pentacles out here, oh, and the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, you may have major choices to make. Hmm. Someone's having a lot of um, fear and anxiety here. Yeah, you may have choices to make because I'm seeing this King of Pentacles and this Emperor energy. And I'm only seeing one Queen out here. And then you've got that Two of Pentacles. For others of you, I feel like because you won't take somebody back, they may be stuck in some sort of karmic relationship with somebody else. And I feel like while they're in that relationship, they're forever going to be questioning themselves in terms of, is that really who they want to be with? Yeah, the hangman stuck, but being enlightened all the same. The world card. Spirit, why do Virgos need to be aware of this? Why do they need to be aware of this? What am I getting stuck on? Five of Swords. Someone here is feeling defeated. And you remember the Five of Swords is an energy of someone who will do anything, say anything to get the outcome that they want. So this kind of makes me feel like, okay, show me more. The devil. Oh, someone here is toxic. It's almost like an energy of, not revenge, but... Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Cups. Spirit is saying for some of you, you need to walk away from whatever this apology is or use your intuition. Now, when I say walk away from the apology, you know, I feel like you should always accept someone's apology, okay? Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to, uh, you know, allow them back into your life kind of a thing. And I feel like this person may, it's almost like I'm hearing the word misconstrued. It's almost like this person may, if you accept the apology, that they may take it a different way it's almost like oh virgo accepting my apology i'm back in there no it's it, no for some of you this is someone like i said uh, that they could be coming back for the wrong reasons devil can talk about someone who has addictions who has some sort of energy of codependency right intoxication distorted view over indulgence but with the dog right next to the dog, someone who may want to come back as if they're a friend. Why do my Virgos need to be aware of this? Five of Swords, the devil. Coming out sideways is a blockage. Ace of Swords, right? This is someone who maybe is not going to want you to see something clearly, right? They're not going to want you to see their motives, which is real silly because you was coming out as the high priestess and with this winged seer. So, um, and I also feel like with it landing on that knight of swords, I don't know if someone here is running out of time for something, or like I said, wherever they are, it may be some sort of um, chaos or destruction there. Tower talks about lo um, a loss and tragedy, right? Pain, divorce, abuse, bankruptcy, wealthy man in the reverse. 
This is someone who's not going to come back telling you the whole truth. You have the Five of Swords with the Ace of Swords out here. That makes the Six of Swords, Virgos, which talks about moving to calmer waters. Keeping your eye on the ball. Staying focused. You're moving forward. The aim is not to move backwards. And especially not into no chaos or to, into anything low vibrational. What's this Five of Swords? Why do my Virgos need to be aware of this? Landed on the tower, the death card. Yeah, look at that. I told you what it's about. It's about moving forward. It's about you having success and victory. All right? You've overcome this obstacle. Spirit is saying, don't put yourself back into the... Don't, don't get in the way of... How do you say it? In the line of fire. Mm -mm. What's this Ace of Swords? Someone's obsessed with your success. Someone's obsessed about where it is you're going. Someone's obsessed about your happiness. Look at that. The Sun card with the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. With the Ten of Pentacles right behind it. <laughs> and the Ace of Cups. Some of my Virgos, you're getting blessed with love and money. Unless that Ace of Cups is about self-love. And this person is suffering in silence. Yeah. Way too worried about you. Way too worried about your future. Way too invested. What's the Ace of Swords? And why did it come out sideways? King of Cups. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. What about the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords? Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords. For some of you, this may be someone who tries to use emotional manipulation. Even though the King of Cups is in the upright. Or for some of you, this is just, it's, I don't know, maybe it's someone who just can't express themselves. Two of Wands and a... For some of you, I don't... Give me one on this King of Cups. This King of Cups could be somebody new, right? But then that would mean that this is someone who is trying to, almost like cock blocking. What's this King of Cups? Give me one more on this King of Cups. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Someone who wants to hold on to you. I don't like their energy. Seven of Swords, yeah, I don't like their energy. At the bottom of the deck with the Hangman and Five of Wands. But you're too strong for this person, Virgos. Hmm. It also feels like someone here is going to be, yes, thank you, Spirit. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It just feels like someone here is going to be just hella mad if you, like, get into a new relationship or if they find out you're speaking to someone else or being intimate with someone else here with that Ace of Wands. This is weird. Ace of Cups again, I don't know. Who is this? <laughs> Someone who has a bad reputation. I wonder that devil is out here. Karmic friends. It says can't fully trust them. Tensions, secret competition. It says keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So this is probably someone who don't even like you. <laughs> But yet they're intimidated by you, threatened by you, bothered by you. I told you, it's that energy of your light irritates this person's demons. Oh, spirit. You have unfazed. But this is someone who acts nonchalant or they're bothered that you act nonchalant here. You've got divination abuser at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this could be someone who does spell work on you. And if they do, they do it daily. And it's probably something like a love spell or come to me spell wants you back. Yeah, because look, 
We've got fake flexing. Axe rich, flosses, money, axe fancy, shows off, etc. <laughs> Show me more. I told you. Landed on nine of wands. Felt like someone who was trying to cock block. Cock blocking. You have no facts. It says never has the facts. Makes shits up. It says lies. You have a broadcast. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> you have, look at this. Carless in the reverse. No car. Repo. It says car issues. You have into you. It says good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. Hmm. But see, I don't like that with the karmic friends. Uh, what is um, unfazed and broadcast? You have scarcity tactics. Yeah, I'm telling you. You know, thank you, spirit. You know, I get there in the end. <laughs> but it, that I feel like it's confirming what I was saying. I was kind of like, hmm, at first. But yeah. What is the end to you? Now, this could also be someone trying to get information about who you're into, but you have it with the no facts, right? What is into you? Travel. I don't know if some of you are traveling soon. What is travel with into you? Maybe you're going on a vacation or something like that. Yeah, unbothered. Maybe you're going away with someone. This person want to know who? Fishing for comments. You've got bad habits, drugs, addictions, toxicity, and yeah, shine. It says your light irritates their demons. you got love triangle, moving on, thank you, next. There's a, there's a lot going on here, right? So, so guys, just take what resonates for you. But I feel like the be aware is to, you know, like I said, keep your eye on the ball. Be careful who it is that you are taking back from the past or allowing into your inner circle, right? Don't forget how far you have come from certain situations here, Virgo. And it's that energy, don't, you know, don't forget how much better you feel from um, since you separated from certain people or situations or even habits here, right? Don't let bad um, friends or bad influences pull you back into situations that you have worked so hard to move yourself away from. Yeah, for some of you, maybe a good time to, to kind of, you know, move in silence. Give me some cards for Virgo. So we have the Lady Goddess. You're coming out here as Divine Feminine. This is you being in an energy of being very abundant right now, Virgos. I'm hearing the word very fruitful. Show me more for Virgo. Thank you. We have home coming. And we have the Wiccan. Did I say it? I'm telling you, I feel like someone was doing some sort of like maybe love spell or like I said, come to me spell here. you got the altar at the bottom of the um, deck and I'm telling you, the, the dedication, doing it every day. But you're too balanced here, I think, Virgos. Clarify these cards. So we have, yeah, homeland with the um, lady goddess. You're grounded. It's almost like that energy of transformation and some sort of elevation, awakening. It's almost that energy of you've come into your own here. You have the witch's hat. Some of you, maybe you are very witchy. Got the um, winged seer out here, right? I'm telling you, look at this. It would, It's good. <laughs> spirit is too funny so with this love spell yeah we've got the candles and magic and then but look i'm telling you it may have been a love spell but the fire and the passion is in the reverse i feel like i remember hearing somewhere right 
that love spells don't work if the other person has already detached. If there's no emotions there, they, it doesn't work. Maybe I just educated someone. I don't know. I'm telling you, you got the fire and the passion in the reverse. Um, spirit initiation. You've had some upgrade here. And then you have, look at that, the moon and the cycle. Somebody doing some sort of moon magic. Because I feel like it's because they want to be attached to your prosperity. So even if you were sitting up here, Virgo, and you're saying, hey, Rising Phoenix, listen, I ain't got all that kind of money in my account. I don't know what they want with me. It could just be your energy, your high vibrational energy. When I say manifestation or things like abundance and things like that, people shouldn't always just instantly go to finances and money and material things. Some things cannot be bought. <laughs> All right, spirit. So let's get some of things. I haven't pulled these for a while. What is this candle magic? And <laughs> I don't know. It just started to kind of spit rain in. So maybe I upset someone. I don't know what to say. What is this candle magic spirit? Come on, Virgos. <laughs> Thank you. Give me some cards. What is this candle magic from our Virgos? What do they need to be aware of, spirit? Mm -mm, too many. Thank you. Anything else from this deck? For Virgos, what is this candle magic? this spell work spirit all right let's do two more and one more thank you okay bottom of the deck we have i envy your partner i'm telling you it says i want to send you a message will you respond you have you are the empress here virgos or emperor Look at that. I just want your money. It says I want to wake up with you. And it says new love is on the way. Don't look back to the past. It's a test. You have fake pregnancy. So be careful of that. Especially with this like bad reputation out here. Okay. Um, someone may be trying to trap someone. You have the karmic is holding me with sex and money. It says weak. You have the Miss Seeley curse. It says, till you do right by me. It says, I worship the darkness, karmic female. It says, you're always on my mind. It says, have no fear, Archangel Michael is here. It says, uh-oh. It says, what is no longer serving you? Cut energetic ties and move forward. You have Queen Niger in the Big Sean song. It says, hate our love. It says, hating on us, wishing we would fall. I remember we just saw that they hate your partner, okay? He says, I have too many options to choose one. You have a blue car. You have date me. You have a Gemini. You have Taurus. You have an STD. <laughs> you have, you know, my every thought. It says how. Because someone here is a wing seer. Duh. <laughs> like, you have Virgo. You, it says, I can't let you go. It says, do you think about me? You have the number three. It says, they fear you. It says, mind games only last so long. It says, your light gets me through the dark times. You have Aquarius energy. So some of my you could even be healers, okay, with that light and Aquarius energy. You have, let's make a family. You have money from out of nowhere. It says, let it rain. It says, it took for my heart to break to see the truth. It says, pour your own drinks. It says, spike. Is that why that seven of cups came in the reverse? Mm, be careful of who you're celebrating with, okay? You have, you are not the father. It says, I'm hiding a secret child. It says, wait for me. It says, and I know I'm toxic. It says, you trigger me. <laughs> All right, spirit messages for Virgo.
anything else that they need to be aware of? Give me clear messages. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Well, that's confirmation of fake friends. All right, you've got karmic friends out here already. So, bottom of the deck, you have a fire sign. That girl is poison. It says someone is going to be famous. It says, if I can't have you, no one can. It says a child's mother's doing spell work. You says It says, karma, quick return, times 10. Mm. It says they only want your money, family, homeless. So, you have beauty spells. Fake friends. You have a fire sign has an STD. You have a guardian angel is an air sign, Archangel Michael. You have visit the sea. So someone may need like a um to do like a spiritual cleansing or bath or something like that. It says someone is truly sorry. You have hating on your looks. You have gifted from birth. You have love spells. You have fake friends. Damn, heavy on the fake friends, Virgo. Heavy. That's like three cards um, clarifying that. You have fighting over money that don't belong to them. And then you have the devil is here to collect. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that. Uh, now give me some. I don't even know if I want to get any of these now. Spirit, should I take these? They said three. All right. What is the message for Virgos? Can I get one more? Okay. Actually, four cards. You have trust. It landed on bad reputation and the loyalty. Be very careful, someone here. It says you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice. It says, and have faith in your intuition. It says empathy. It says you feel and understand the emotions of another in service of love. So some of you may even be empaths. You have priorities. It says you understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. This card was sideways. Maybe someone here doesn't deserve that energy from you. You have transformation. It says you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Don't fall into someone's trap of whatever kind of illusion they're going to try and create here. <laughs> Give me four cards to end this reading for Virgo. I just heard I wish a bitch would. I don't know. <laughs> So you have keeping up, it says immense effort and advance. Yeah, someone was really trying something here. Mm -mm. Someone's looking at you differently because you've got, you've changed. It says you changed quickly. So someone may feel like you switched up on them, but I don't know. I'm sure you had good reason. You have it's always tea time. It says eternity, endless moments and repet repetitive. Again, like I said, pay attention. If someone here may be inviting you out for drinks and things like that, just uh, all I can say is, you know, Virgos is just um, be on your P's and Q's. Yeah, follow the white rabbit. And I always kind of see that card as almost like, you know, it's like an energy of the matrix for me. Show me more. You have shine bright like a candle. It says you will make it through this. And then you have set the course. It says know where you wish to go. It says have a plan. It says the right direction. Yeah, look at that with transformation. You're going in the right direction here, Virgos, right? And I just feel like, like I said, it's just an energy of, Jealousy, envy, anger. And for some of you, I'm not even going to lie, I'm picking up an energy of hate. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking at this card, right? 
And like I was saying, you're going in the right direction. You see how this cat is just grinning like that, like the Cheshire cat? That's how that is. That energy it reminds me of like the Five of Swords. Someone want to come in and be your friend. Want to come along for the ride here, Virgos. So Virgos, that is what I have for you, okay? I do hope that something has resonated. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe, love and light.